Howdy, and happy early morning. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, who's the right patient for a baclofen pump? I've narrowed it down to four factors. If you have these four things, we should consider a pump. If you don't, we shouldn't. Tune in to learn those four factors right now. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits. And it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. Today's topic, intrathecal baclofen pumps. And who's the right patient? I've narrowed it down to four factors. I think if you have these four factors, we need to talk seriously about an ITB test dose or testing out a possible pump. If you don't have these four factors, it's not something we want to look into. And I'm going to go through those four factors with you right now. Number one, are you spastic? Not everyone that comes to see me is actually spastic. Do you have painful cramps? Do you have spasms? Do you have limbs that are hard to bend? If you answer yes, then you've met the first criteria. Are you spastic? Number two, do you like it? What I mean by that is, not everyone is bothered by their spasticity. And if you have a leg that's slightly tight but it doesn't bother you, we don't want to consider an intrathecal baclofen test dose. The second question is, are you bothered by it? Number three, is what's currently going on working out for you? What I mean is, is taking baclofen four times a day, taking Xanaflex before bed, having every three months Botox injections, going to physical therapy twice a week, and wearing a splint working out? If the answer is yes, we don't want to consider a baclofen test dose. But if the answer is no, it's not working out, we need to consider a test dose. And number four, are you a reliable partner in your own care? Having an intrathecal baclofen pump or having a baclofen pump is nothing to take lightly. And I need a patient and a family who is invested in their care. Someone who is going to follow up with visits and take having a pump seriously. That's number four. So in considering a patient for a possible pump, we have to answer four questions. Are they spastic? Do they like it? Is what's going on currently working out? And are they trusted? If you're spastic and you don't like it, and what's currently going on isn't working out, and I can rely on you as a partner in your care, you and I should discuss a possible pump. To learn more, I'll put a link up above to a video I've done on ITB test dose. Thank you for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. If you found this information helpful and you'd like to hear other videos like it, consider subscribing to the channel. Until my next video, take care.